Okay, so what we're going to demo today is how to integrate a Twilio Studio Flow with Spoke's programmable soft phone. So we're going to start with a very basic demo. Um, today what we have here on the left is a very simple Twilio Studio Flow. Uh, it's triggered off an incoming call, so we have an incoming phone number attached to that. Uh, we're doing a basic gather where we're asking uh, the caller to enter an extension. And what we'll do is we'll build some logic around this. On the right, we have the Spoke programmable soft phone. Uh, you can see here that we're running a Mac OS version. We also have versions available for Windows, iOS, and Android. Uh, in Spoke, we've set up a small company called Acme Cars. Um, we've got a couple of users, Jenny and Mike, and we've got a group called Sales. So in order to build um, a flow that sends calls from Studio across to Spoke, what we rely on is Spoke extensions. Everything in Spoke has an extension associated, whether it's a user or a group or even an individual device. So in this case, we can see that Jenny has extension 100 and Sales has an extension 1000. So our studio flow is going to be pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to gather some digits. So here's our split here. And the, the conditions are pretty simple. If the user entered one on the call, then we're going to create an output that does a redirect across to spoke. We've already set that up to make this nice and quick. You can see we've got that here, and we're going to connect that. Um, we're going to connect the value equal to one to sales. And if it's not equal to one, we're going to send it to all other extensions. Now, this is the important thing to note. With Spoke, the way to get a call out of Studio is to simply use our redirect handler. So this um, is uh, available to be called from within Studio as a Twimmel redirect widget. And you'll see here what we've got is this URL. This is a, basically a, um, a, a Twilio webhook handler. This is a special redirect one that allows us to implement some, some custom logic when we're receiving calls from Studio. You can see here I've hard coded the extension to 1000, and then this here is the account identifier that is specific to Acme Cars. So this will get called when the user enters one into the IVR. It will pass the call across to extension 1000 uh, in the spoke directory, which, as I said earlier, is sales. Then the alternative um, path we have is if the value is not equal to one, uh, then what we're going to do is dial any other extension. And in this case, what we've actually done is we have used a magic template variable to simply pass across the extension number that was entered in the IVR. So I'm going to dial in as a customer from another phone. Put this on speaker so you can hear the audio. Hello, and welcome to Acme Cars. Please enter an extension number and I'll connect you. All right, so I'm going to enter one for sales. And you'll see that straight away that call comes up on the Spoke Phone app. You can see that it's a call to sales. I'll go ahead and answer that. And there we are. So now we've got the customer talking to the Spoke user. They've gone through the IVR flow, and the call's landed on the Spoke Phone soft phone. A few things to note here is that the Spoke Phone soft phone is not like a normal soft phone. You get all of the additional features that you'd expect from an advanced PBX. You get transfer, you get hold, you get conference. And functions like call recording and highlight CRM integration are also available. All right, so that was the flow um, dialing into sales. Uh, let's show the other one where we enter an extension. So this time the customer is going to dial in. Hello, and welcome to Acme Cars. Please enter an extension number and I'll connect you. All right, so this time we're going to enter extension 100, which is Jenny's extension. Okay, so straight away the call's coming in, you can see it's to extension 100, and exactly the same functionality is available.